Hey, what's going on guys? So today uh, we're going to be talking a lot about our Tesla Model Y. We've owned our Model Y for a couple weeks and here's some things that we like about it and here's some things that we're not really happy about. And if you're new to the channel, this is the Tesla Model Y Performance in red. We've been installing a couple accessories on this car such as some carbon fiber parts and also some interior pieces and we're probably going to get into some bigger things soon. So we've owned the car for a couple weeks now and we actually put around 1200 miles on this and we've been driving this everywhere and uh, we've been enjoying it and the speed and everything that's inside it gives us entertainment. So one thing that we really really like about this car is because it's a Tesla and it's all EV and before we used to spend around 400 to 500 dollars on gas alone every month and and we don't need to go to gas stations anymore and all we need to do is grab this, push the button, and you just charge right there. So right now gas prices are skyrocketing in Los Angeles and it's almost $5 a gallon. And right now is like a perfect time to get the Tesla. So we installed a Tesla wall charger that we could uh, charge the car faster. So what we do is that we plug in the charger any time of the day and then we schedule the charge to start at around midnight and that's when the electricity rates are low and when you wake up it's going to be a fully charged vehicle so that's better than going to the gas station when you're out of gas and uh, we're, we're already forgetting about how that works since i'm the one driving the car my favorite part of it is the autopilot it really helps especially when you're on the freeway on long drives it will follow the lines on the road as well as slow down and speed up during traffic it makes the drive much easier and more relaxing. And I've tried it both on the freeway and on side streets and it's been working great so far. The car is moving on its own and it's having a couple car lengths, like four or five car lengths. Oh, this is the first time we've seen a motorcycle person on, on the screen. Right now, Autopilot's doing all of the work and there's no pedal on the, the gas, so that's pretty cool. See, it'll stop on its own. So I'm gonna show the red. Yeah, it turns green. It turns green. It's gonna drive on its own. And then the car's gonna be in front of me. It's gonna stop on its own. So it follows the curve of the roads. Our third favorite, of course, is the speed of the car. The speed. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> On the freeway entrance right now, and we're gonna go zero to 60 times, so get yourself planted, Matthew. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. For number four in our list is we love the infotainment system on this car. There's so many games available. There's a theater mode where you can watch Netflix and YouTube and Hulu. And the kids love these games. Uh, there's one where you could actually control it with a steering wheel. Uh, the music is great also. There's so many options. And of course the cameras in the car. There's a total of eight cameras and you could see behind you at the side of you. So many things you could do. The number five thing we love about our Tesla is the white interior. Originally our order was for black but we changed it in the middle of our order and we are very happy with it. The white is very unique and really gives you that Tesla feeling. It's really easy to clean too. You could use the baby wipes or just a towel with warm water. Uh, we always wear jeans and we haven't seen any stains yet so, so far so good. A really fun thing about this Tesla is it has a boombox which is a speaker under the front bumper and you could play different types of music, you could play effects and it has built in effects already. You could sound like an ice cream truck, it has a merry-go-round or even a fart sound and you could even download your own type of mp3 in there and play it. So you could sound like a GTR if you want or a rev of an engine. You do all kinds of stuff. But when it goes in reverse it sounds like a UFO and it sounds pretty cool. 
For number seven, what we love about the Tesla are the adaptive headlights. Now these headlights are currently for the performance model. However, uh, Tesla should be moving these over to the long range as in the Model 3, all the Model 3 new vehicles have these adaptive headlights now. The projector on these headlights actually follow the curve of the road. So whenever you're turning the steering wheel, the lights will follow. So it's really, really nice at night. Another thing that we like is the rainbow robe. So first put on autopilot. So first you gotta put on autopilot and then all you need to do is uh, push down the shifter four times. Number nine on our list that we love about Tesla are the cameras on the car, especially the one for the rear camera and the two blind spots. This really helps me when I'm signaling or if I want to see what's going on behind me while I'm driving. So you can see that the bottom two cameras are actually the blind spots. Uh, you can see your blind spots if you want to uh, signal right or left and see who's on your blind spot. So. Uh, the, the rear trunk is also for people who are behind you that's also for backup camera it's going to be the exact same camera that you're going to use and it's cool how all three cameras could be on during the drive a lot of cars don't have that and they only come up when you're going backwards so that's a nice add-on that tesla has put on so there's 14 speakers all around the tesla and it has that nice surround sound and we had a harman kardon sound system in our SUV4 and this one seems to be better so that's good so in the audio settings they have immersive sound and you could put that in standard or high mode and I don't know why just keep it on high mode so it's always high quality so I also noticed that there's explicit content that you could turn off here and since we have a kid in the family that should be off so those are the top 10 things we love about the Tesla over the last two weeks. Now let's talk about the stuff that we don't like. We just noticed these things in the last two weeks and let's go talk about it. So the way the home link works is you would have to purchase it from the Tesla website for $325. They send it to your house and then they send out a service tech to install it to your car and as well as your garage. The good thing about it is it'll sense when your car is getting close, so it'll the garage will open, and then when you leave, the garage will close. So it's really convenient, but it's kind of a hassle in a certain way too, since you have to pay an extra 325 and you gotta get someone else to install it for you. So if you already have a garage opener, like in our case, we have this ADT remote app, so we can actually control it from our app. And we have the garage opener as well, so we're probably not going to get that anytime soon. But who knows, maybe in the future we will. One thing that we don't like about this car is that there is a glare on the dash on the side uh, mirror. And we recently got it tinted and there's a glare on the dash on the side windows. So this is a known issue based on the Tesla forums. So whenever you tint the car, you're going to get this glare that will show up in the side view mirrors. Whether you have the white dash or the wooden dash, it'll still show up. Now, one thing you can do to get rid of this is possibly you could wrap the center dash. You can make it black or gloss black or carbon fiber. That way it becomes a darker color and you won't be able to see the glare on the side view mirrors. This is something definitely we're going to be looking at in the near future. The number three on our list that we didn't like about the Tesla is that the front bumper loves to collect bugs and rock chips. Just the way it's shaped, it doesn't have a grill, so it does really collect a lot of bugs and rock chips on the road. One thing to protect your car is to get a PPF, paint protection film. So what that does is it's like a clear broad that'll cover the front of the car and the lights or whatever you want to cover, and it'll protect it from any debris. It's also easy to clean and it'll prevent rock chips. And you got to protect that car. This thing is expensive. Number four in our list that we didn't really like about the Tesla is the doors need a lot of force to close. A lot of times we close the door, however, it doesn't close all the way because we didn't close it hard enough. And we don't want to force close it too hard because it feels like it's going to slam the door. But with the Tesla, it looks like it really needs that extra force to close because it doesn't close all the way whenever you just push it in. 
So that's something to get used to. And a lot of times we are already in the car and our doors are not closed yet. So we really got to try to get that thing closed. You kind of don't like about this car is just how quiet it is. And I know this car is an EV car and it's really, really supposed to be not loud. But in our channel, we have a Camry that makes exhaust noises that we even put like a custom exhaust and also an intake and even our BMW before had a muffler delete and we just really like the sound of the engine and let's try to rev this car well, first let's let's put it in neutral and we're in neutral and let's rev vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Well, there's no engine sound, so... Oh, by the way, look, there's two ghosts. Oh, never that. So what we're planning in the future is... So what we're planning to do is that we're going to be putting an engine sound in our driving. So you know how we have these little uh, add-ons for sound effects. So we might put on an engine sound right there. And... It sounds like a GTR or something. It could right? sound like a GTR or even a McLaren, Ferrari. Let's just stick with the Jetsons. And... You could hear that from outside, so that's pretty cool. But it's just gonna repeat itself, so. There's no engine sounds when we accelerate. There's actually a little wearing sound on the motor, but there's no like, there's no like, spooling noises so it's pretty cool how it's kind of quiet it's one of our quietest cars that we've owned and it's also the fastest since the car is really quiet one of the downsides is that if you can't hear it pedestrians can't hear it as well so uh, you could probably try to take extra precaution when you drive the car around and like people like crossing the road they won't hear you they can only see you and we could even put a merry-go-round sound when you want people to see you and that'll draw attention but you don't have any engine sound so so another thing that the tesla has is that it has a it has a dash cam footage and you can launch your viewer and see dash cam footage and this also will help with sentry mode footage and if someone walks up to your car the car will automatically start recording and also if anyone tries to look through your windows or even maybe even some cars that are moving around the sentry mode will record and that's a pretty cool thing that you can see and it'll actually record on all of the cameras Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And that's a recap of the top 10 things we love about the Tesla over the last two weeks and the five things we don't like about it. And if you are planning on buying a Tesla and need a referral, you could use our link on the description and you could get a thousand free supercharger miles and we will get some as well. And we'll shout you out in the next video. Okay, thank you again and peace. As my son would say. Peace.